Good morning to our grade 9 learners. This is your school on the air in English. I am grateful to be with you today. You are now listening to our very first school on the air program. I am your teacher, Sir Ryan, from Balibago Primero Integrated School, serving you. It's a good day to learn new things. I am thankful in spite of the COVID crisis we are in, you are still willing to learn. Make sure that you are now in a comfortable place, far from noise, so that you can hear me loud and clear. At this point, get your learning activity sheets in English 9, week 2. Again, get your learning activity sheets in English 9, week 2. Before we start, make sure you have your pen, paper, or notebook with you. Again, you should have your pen, paper, or notebook with you. This time, hold your learning activity sheets and let's have a quick walkthrough. Make sure that the title of the last that you are holding is Three Categories of Making Connections. Again, the title of the last must be Three Categories of Making Connections. To be guided in using this last, here are some reminders. Take your time in reading the lessons. Read and follow instruction in the activities. Answer all the activities honestly. And lastly, check your answers using the answer key provided in the last pages of your last. Now, let's start with our lesson. Go to page 1 and start learning. Do you know what are the three categories of making connections? How do we differentiate them? At the end of this lesson, you are expected to answer these questions. Making connections to reading a text is reading comprehension technique used to help students make meaning of what they are reading. It also allows them to relate their personal experiences with the text itself. What are the three categories of making connections? First, we have the text-to-self connections. Text-to-self connections are connections between the reader's personal experiences. Here is an example statement. This story reminds me of a vacation. And I and my family took to my grandfather's province last month. Another example. I also finished my bachelor's degree at the University of the Philippines just like the main character. Second, we have the text-to-text -text connections. This type of connection happens when a reader can connect details and information she has read and listened to in the past to what she is presently reading. A concrete text-to-text -text connection occurs when a reader can apply what he has read from one text to another text. Here is an example of text-to-text -text connection. I read another book about cats and the book mentioned that cats have rabies and in this book, I am reading about the first aid measures one must do when beaten by a cat. Third, we have the text-to-world connections. These are the larger connections that a reader takes and applies to a reading activity. Real text to world connections happen when readers can use what they have learned through different mediums to enhance their understanding and comprehensions of the text that they are reading. Here is an example of the text to world connection. I saw a program on television that talked about the procedures mentioned in the journal. 
Another example is, I heard on the radio about how COVID-19 can be transferred from one person to another. And in this book, I read the things one must do to avoid catching the virus from an infected person. Now, let me ask you, what are the three categories of making connections? Absolutely correct. The three categories are text-to-self connections, text-to-text -text connections, and text-to-word connections. For your activity, turn to page 3. Read the statements comprehensively and determine what its item refers to. And circle the letter of the correct answer. And for your second activity, turn to page 5. Identify what category of making connections that its statement implies. Write your answer on the space provided for each number. We will now proceed to the most exciting part. The reflection part. Turn to page 7. Based from what you have learned, are the three categories of making connections beneficial in real-life situations? How? Write your answer on the space provided. What part of the lesson did you enjoy most? Make sure to answer all the items in the activities. We are about to end our first episode for today in English now. I am encouraging you to give us some feedback or suggestions. Your feedback will be of great help for the next episodes to come. Keep safe and join us again on the next episodes of School on the Air. Again, this is Sir Ryan, your teacher broadcaster for English 9, Week 2. Thank you and have a great day.